keep that in mind. Um, if you are interested in the well information, give them a call. Okay. And give them the property number. They should have all the information on both wells. And they've got the uh, yeah. private service records and in things. In terms of you know making an I'll offer, that's through. who I'm going to recommend you to to call and have them come out. Because they they know what they're dealing with. Because yeah, they've already dealt with it. <laughs> right. Well, this is a nice little yard. I've noticed out here. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, first people scared off all the deer, but we, <laughs> we uh, spooked a total of six deer while we were walking around. Oh, so how, how is no, this like? No shortage of wildlife right in here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, then you can see the the ivy. And I've mentioned it to them after they did the forty thousand reduction. I said, I said, don't worry about it. Leave it. Wow. Um, so almost like artwork or something. Yeah, I mean, it's really cool. The problem is, is sooner or later that chimney i mean i'm sure it's already sustained some damage right sooner or later it's going to start doing a lot of damage yeah especially um, when, the, when it starts bulking up and it, it could be maintained back right. to the chimney and probably be okay for a long time but personally i would i love ivy uh -huh. i just don't like it on houses right right <laughs> yeah that's interesting never seen anything like that this is supposed to be the uh focal point for my parents because they're interested in, in actually getting a pull at some point but yeah, and I'll tell you what, in Whitman County, you are not going to find very many places with a pool. Especially in this <laughs> town. I think there's this one in, uh, in the uh, city pool by the school. Yeah, there's a little city pool. And this is actually for a homeowner's pool. It's pretty good size. It is. Like I said, it hasn't been kept up in a while, but I look at it and I don't see a lot of problems. Yeah, cracks and crap. I mean, it's like there aren't any cracks. So it's a good cleaning. And it does have all the plumbing and everything in there, but I'm betting some of that definitely needs to be removed. Oh, yeah. I mean, it has to be. Yeah, pools are money suckers, but but yeah, once you get the the, the yeah, insulation. You know, in this area, how many months out of the year are you going to be using it too? Unless you build a an indoor setup out of it. There's a there's a place called Black Rock Domes. I don't know if you ever seen geodesic domes and things like that. They sell them for pennies on the dollar, basically. But it's it's basically a dome. If you ever said seen Epcot Center at Walt Disney World, kind of yeah. like half of one yeah, of those. Right. Yeah. And uh, they make up to 42 feet in a diameter so that's an idea just kind of enclose it like that i already got one for a greenhouse they're pretty cool that's an idea um so what's back here is it just uh that little shed there i think was mainly just all the uh the pool pumps and things okay we have plumbing for it i see oh wow it's not been used in a while oh it's been a while since anybody's been I, who knows when the last time the pool was used i don't know that when the last time this house was lived in technically so do you know any of the backstory that you, or anything like that or is it just they just got too old and all the kids left well i think the the original That's good. homestead family they've been gone for a while because right now it's it's a group of siblings that basically have a trust llc trust set up uh -huh. for all the land and they're all over the so part of the reason that forty thousand dollar reduction happened I, it was not me I, I did not advise them to do it i told them they shouldn't do it because i thought it was too much yeah too cheap technically um but they're all really elderly, and I get the feeling one of them is maybe terminally ill. Right. So each of those children have their own trust set up for their, you know, children, grandchildren, great grandchildren. And if the house doesn't sell, it just it makes it makes it difficult on them from a trust standpoint. Oh yeah, it ties around. Uh, yeah. But understand, this was like the quintessential homestead farm back in the day in and out. Like it, living here, you should be able to ask somebody about Rockwell, and they should know who that person. The is. name on the mailbox. Yeah. 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 Um, just about anybody that's been here for a while is going to know the Rockwell family. But they sold off all their farming acreage, which I don't know the exact amount, but it was thousands of acres. Well, that's how it goes. Yeah. My family, the Klingenbirds in Missouri, did the same thing. 2,000 acres near Branson. Just sold it. All the kids sold it off bit by bit as they needed money. Then finally, it was the farmhouse, like kind of no, like this. Th that's always the last thing yep. to go, isn't it? And yep. that, that went, too. And my mom's got a little piece of property, a little sliver. You know, oh, we got to keep it. And I'm like, <laughs> no one set foot on that thing in 15 years. I was just sell it for what's worth and kind of get something you can actually use. Right. Nothing, nothing like long distance real estate. I, it's not. Oh no, yeah, it's never a good thing. It always costs you more than it's ever worth. Right. I hope there's no. I guess. Yeah, I was hoping I wouldn't see like a, you know, like a there's, skeleton of some kind of critter. But I guess they can climb out pretty good. Yeah, maybe you can get out. But yeah. Hey, that's minor. I mean, it, it, there's, there's, doesn't look like there's anything you know a deer hasn't fallen in there yeah <laughs> yeah and that's all there mine could be little skeletons and i know there's frogs in there <laughs> i know there is because i've walked out here a couple times and they're doing their deal 
Well, cool. And a lot of the land does go back that direction too. So. And it's all, it's pretty brambly like this? It all is, yeah. I mean, even, actually that's why the aerial is really nice. Um, in fact, I have that one aerial that where it actually rotates. Uh -huh. And you can, you can almost see you know, exactly where it's at. So. Wow. And that, that fence line up there, do you know anything about that or? The, uh, I'm gonna, like this lower, yeah, lower that, one? Yeah, that I, just I, the one I see right there, you know? Yeah, and that must, I really don't. Um, there is a survey in, okay. in the Oh, there. sweet, yeah, I'll, I'll not bother with that then. It looks like an old uh, TV antenna up there. Yeah, deal. I think it's actually still connected. Wow. Know. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like this place, I mean, it's been uh, frozen in time. Right. <laughs> Definitely some window repairs. Uh, if I was to say anything about the home, that would be my biggest thing is windows. But I'm kind of a picky about windows when it's right. property. Um, I just always, at this point, expect to see nice double pane energy efficient vinyl. Right. Or nice double pane wood. Um, so some of the windows are older. Some of them, are, some of the picture windows are nice double pane. Oh sure. There's a minimal amount of dry rot in some of the the boards on this side of the house, I think. Oh well, yeah. But and then you'll see the septic. I told you the septic all got redone, right? Yeah. I think it's, I saw it still. It was almost like twenty five thousand dollars in septic well, wood. So mm -hmm. it's all brand new. And the uh, permit I actually stuck in there for you too on that, so you have it. Oh sweet. Um, the uh, thing I was going to ask you is. Um, the way that the town of Endicott is, do you know if this house is hooked up to the services or is it exempt this from all is that? On its, on oh, its great. This is outside city limits. Great, great. Yeah, I know it's just like it's outside and, and yet it's as outside, close as it's you outside, can. but it's close enough you can get to town real quick. It's very close, yeah. I'm like, what the heck? So it's exempt but from it's all that crap. Because there's very little traffic on this road. Oh, yeah. You know, so even though you're just like around the corner and all of a sudden you're in Endicott, so why sure? When you're out here, you're just kind of by yourself. Yeah, uh, I live on C Street uh, by the attorney uh, Lutheran there. And yeah, but just around the corner from the post office. But yeah, this is a this is definitely for someone that's looking to you know do a little hobby farm or whatever. This is you can't ask for more than this. You know. Hope those horses don't fall in the pool. <laughs> yeah, let those people. <laughs> do they seem pretty seem pretty well to do? You know, type people. Or, um, it's tough for me to say. Just birds. It really or, is. I have not personally met anyone. Right. Any of the siblings. Um, it's almost all emails. Oh, I, I mean, I meant uh, the people that have been interested in this place. Oh, yeah. No, um, I've had three people last year when it was two twenty nine, uh, which I thought was well priced. There, to be honest with you, um, want to come in and do owner carries with them, mm -hmm. and I tried to work that out for them, but it was really a situation where they just could not. You know, the, the owners didn't want to want to come in too low on the down. So it's like you know, if we're going to owner carry, we want twenty five percent down and six percent interest that's what we're looking at on yeah. five years it's okay. like well you know that, that's pretty tough for anybody in the cot to do so yeah it's gonna happen yeah um, it, i had another offer i had a well-to-do couple come over and look at it they were real interested in it that rated goats and uh sheep dogs mm -hmm. and they really liked it uh, but same situation just the financing which is why i went to the county and i said what will it take to reclassify this for financing yeah you're trying to work work as much yep, as you so can. i'm trying to work with the county in there um, i don't want to re have the owners oh. reclassify yeah it long term unless, is terrible. unless unless it has to be yeah because in the long term it can save you a ton in taxes uh, county taxes yeah I, I i they pay less taxes here than i do in town town yeah, yeah. and it's just like how, for me it, I and just, that's because of how, how it's classified right so right. I don't want to change it on somebody and be like, well, your taxes just tripled. Yeah, <laughs> you know? enjoy it for life, right? <laughs> and they, once the taxes are raised, but at the same time, never from, go from back. a financing perspective, banks see open open space uh -huh. in terms of agricultural open space. They go, well, we're not loaning on it. Right. It's outside their yeah. special ability. Um, but agricultural single family zone that way, it's like no problem. Just weird. Yeah. Um, I was hoping we could look from the, the bottom up. Like, is there a basement? basement? Yeah. yeah. Cool. <sighs> yeah, my, my mom and dad have a uh, church property they're trying to maybe sell to. It's, it's been in the family for 60 years, but it's, 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 it's in a trust and also, well, it's not, a, what do you call it? It's a, a 501c, 
three. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's kind of difficult to uh, 